Now let's bring you an update on our coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. The World Health Organization says Nigeria has been selected as one of six countries to receive technology that is needed to produce messenger uh, ribonucleic acid vaccines, a technology used for the production of COVID-19 vaccines. This is according to a statement by WHO's direct Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus at the European Union African Union Summit in Brussels. The other recipients of the technology include Egypt, Kenya, Senegal, South Africa and Tunisia. Dr. Ghebreyesus says the pandemic has shown that resilience or reliance on a few companies for the supply of vaccines is risky. mRNA vaccines are diff different from most vaccines which contain a weakened or inactive piece of the target virus which triggers the production of antibodies. These technologies used in the production of Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines. Let's talk this through by speaking with a virologist, Professor Oyewali Tomori, who is joining me live via Zoom in Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us on TVC News this time. Egypt. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Right. Egypt, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, and Tunisia have been selected by the WHO uh, to ramp up jobs production on the continent. So, how do you think this will impact the drive to ensure that the world is safe at the end of the day? I think it's a step in the right direction and a success for Nigeria because many countries competed for it, and out of which six were chosen. Uh, the hub is to go in South Africa. The rest of us are going to be part of the system to ensure that the vaccine is available in different parts of Africa and to all the African region. I think the good news for me is the fact that uh, when we make up our mind in Nigeria to do things together, allow the people who have the competence to do what needs to be done, um, you know, we always get success. The team, the the Balvax, I mean, the NAPDAC was the one that actually started the, the business rolling. And um, uh, Bio Vaccine Nigeria Limited got involved in the uh, completion of the documentation and the interviews. And the ministry officials went on a, a diplomatic short tour. So that combination made sure that Nigeria was uh, succeeded. Well, some, uh, some of the leaders of these countries are already optimistic that um, this will allow the country, uh, African country, uh, countries that are mentioned, uh, to provide local solutions to global health challenges. But another thing, one thing is for you to be supported, especially by the WHO. Another, another thing is for you to also get the support from your own government. Um, there are so many people during the COVID-19 pandemic when it was really ravaging that they said they've got local solutions, but they didn't get the support. So how are we so sure that this time around they will get the support needed from their own government? The, the fact that, you know, I started by telling you that it was a combination of every effort, not that bio vaccine, even the government itself. The fact that the government was involved in the diplomatic shuttle should give us confidence that the government will support at this time. I don't think they can afford to fail at this time. We've been on this for quite a long time. And I think we're having a turning point in this situation. And we must succeed. We have to succeed. Otherwise, we, we begin a laughing stock to the entire world. This was a country chosen out of so many other countries. And it is a race to make sure that we get to that place. And even as soon as it was announced, we have begun activities in bio, bio vaccine to ensure that all these necessary steps will be taken. And I'm sure my government will not fail on this occasion. They have no reason to fail. And they must not fail. Well, in terms of um, uh, the, the fact that um, this, most of these countries, you know, developing countries and developed countries on the African continent, uh, or they, 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 they've got this over-reliance on these foreign countries. Do you think the consumers of these vaccines that were produced by these countries, you know, countries that are piloting this, this scheme, uh, this project, the consumers will, will have this trust in whatever it is that they come out with, whatever pharmaceutical product that they're able to come out with? Well, the first thing to say that awareness and letting people know that this is capi we're capable of doing something starts from right now. And from this, this interview you are having, the fact that we got selected from out of so many other countries shows that we have the competence to do the right thing. In any case, there are a lot of drugs being produced in this country which are not imported from outside. There are vaccines being produced in VOM and for, for animals which we are not uh, getting from outside. So there are a lot of things that are being made in this country that we're doing. It is not for us to make up our mind as a nation you know, to go out and accept what we see. And for those of us who are involved in the production, to ensure that we will never do anything that will harm any of our people. 
That's the only solution. We have to begin to have trust in ourselves. We can't continue to be dependent on, on others. Where's the guarantee that what comes from outside is even, is, is even of quality anyway? Well, it's a good thing to realize that we won't be over-relying on whatever it is that is coming from, you know, uh, Western countries. Rather, we'll be producing our own vaccines. Viro uh, a virologist Professor Iwali Tomori, thank you so much always for your insight. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.